So we're going to start on the background again and I'm going to do wet in wet. I'll tell you the colours I'm working with in a moment and all I'm waiting is the top section that we did first of all. I mean you can be careful around the ears or I'll, I'll kind of flip past that but you can be nice and neat. Carefully round the face and down to where we made that dry edge before. Doesn't matter if you go over a little, that's fine. So round the back of him and down the side. And when this is wet, again, this is a moment where if you have got watermarks, you may be able to soften them out and you just jiggle your brush on them and the paint will soften and you just let it flow. The alizarin sometimes doesn't want to move, but the others will probably soften a bit. So that one I've got at the side, you can see it's just softened out. I'm then going to work some detail on it. So I have a combination of ultramarine with alizarin, burnt sienna with some alizarin in, and burnt umber on its own. And I'm going to start with the liquid to the burnt umber. Just this will help deaden some of the brightness of the purple. And then I'm going to use the ultramarine and alizarin mix. And again, this is slightly darker than it was before. And we're just going to work at that diagonal that the hillside's going at. Put it on and let it spread. And finally, a little bit of this burnt sienna with the alizarin. Just a little bit of a hotter colour. And just let that, you can see if you just give it a moment, it will spread itself out. And I'm just going to take off any excess with a lightly dabbed off brush. Just making sure your angles kind of match either side of the head. And that probably will be fine. I'd probably leave it there. You, you're getting one or two little dry edges there, that's fine. I haven't gone to, too low, so I haven't interfered in this lower section, but I've just got the feeling something's going on in the background. Little bits of hot colour. Nice strong mid-tone because the mid-tones in the background are going to be the things that make the hair jump out and that's your next bit.